By the clear book. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hamim wal kitabil mubin. By the book that is very self-evident and manifest. And I said, here we should read as understood. Wal kitabil mubin. Inna kana bin al mursalin. This book, which is clear and self-evident, is enough proof that you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is a messenger of Allah. Indeed, we sent it down during a blessed night. Indeed, we were to warn mankind. Now the same thing which is said in the last part of Quran, Surah Al-Qadr, Inna Anzal Nao Fi Laylat Al-Qadr. Important subjects are repeated in Quran at least twice. Inna Anzal Nao Fi Laylat Al-Qadr, we send down this Quran in the Laylat Al-Qadr, the precious night. Here, Inna Anzal Nao Fi Laylat Al-Mubarakatin. We sent it down in a night which was blessed. It is the same, not two of our nights, it's the same night in Ramadan, in the last ten days. Inna kunna munzirin. Verily, we have ever been warning. We have been sending our revelations to the messengers, sort of, so as to warn people. Fiha yufraqu kullu amrin hakim. On that night is made distinct every precise matter. Fiha yufraqu kullu amrin hakim. During that night, Laylatul Mubaraka or Laylatul Qadr. All the affairs of wisdom are decided and decreed and issued. This night for this world is a budget session of this divine kingdom. What will happen during this year? Who will die? Who will come and be born? What will happen to whom? What will happen to Pakistan? And what will happen to this and that? These things are decided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this night. And this is called Laylatul Qadr. Tanazzalu al-malaikatu warruhu fiha bi izni rabbihim in kulli amr. All the matters have decided, have been decided, and now the angels start coming down to implement those decisions that have been taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here the word yufraqo is very important. Issued. Yufraqo, something separated. Now this order has been issued. Fiha yufraqo kullu amrin hakim. All the important decisions are issued in this night. Amram min indina inna kunna mursileen. Every matter proceeding from us. Indeed, we were to send a messenger. Amram min indina as a command from us. Inna kunna mursaleen, we really, we have been descenders. As mercy from your Lord, indeed he is the hearing, the knowing. Rahmatam mir rabbik, and we have been sending the messengers as a mercy from your Lord. Inna hu huwa samiul alim, verily he is all listening. All knowing. Rabbi Samawati wal Ardi wa ma baynahuma in kuntum muqineen. Lord of the heavens and the earth and that between them, if you would be certain. Rabbi Samawati wal Ardi wa ma baynahuma in kuntum muqineen. He is the Lord of the heavens and the earth and whatsoever is between them. In kuntum mu'mineen, if only you are convinced. La ilaha illa 
هو يحيي ويميت ربكم ورب آبائكم الأولين There is no deity except him. He gives life and causes death. He is your Lord and the Lord of your first forefathers. لا إله إلا هو There is no God except him. You are he or you meet. He gives life and he puts to death. Rabbukum wa Rabbu Abaikum al-Awwaleen. He is your Lord and the Lord of your forefathers. Al-Hum fi shakki yal'aboon. But they are in doubt, amusing themselves. Al-Hum fi shakki yal'aboon. But these people, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they are in doubts and they are playing, mocking. فَارْتَقِبْ يَوْمَ تَأْتِي السَّمَاءُ بِدُخَانٍ مُبِينٍ Then watch for the day when the sky will bring a visible smoke. فَارْتَقِبْ يَوْمَ تَأْتِي السَّمَاءُ بِدُخَانٍ مُبِينٍ So you just wait and see when the heaven will bring a manifest smoke. Now in the coming ayat there is a reference. To a small chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which came to Makkah. As we read in Surah Al-Anam, Surah Al-Araf. Then again in Surah Al-Sajda. It has been the practice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that whenever He sent a messenger to a people, He sent small chastisements, small afflictions. So that if they are sleeping, they should wake up. And they should think. So these small afflictions, they are not for the destruction. But only meant to open their eyes, if really they can open their eyes. If they are not already absolutely dead spiritually, then you know this thing will shake them up and they will rise and see, see the affairs. So this was in the form of a very big famine which came to Mecca and the, all the area around it. So due to this drought, you know, there was nothing to eat. People were hungry. And you know, in that case, in that condition, it seems as if you know there is dust all around in the in the atmosphere, dukhani mobin, as a, there is some smoke which is covering the heaven. So it is meant by this. For taqib, so wait, O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, for the day yawmatati samaw be dukhani mobin, when the heaven will bring a manifest smoke. Covering the people, this is a painful torment. Yakshanas, it will cover and envelop the people. Haza azabun alim, and this will be a painful chastisement. Rabbana kshif an al-azab inna mu'minu. They will say, Our Lord, remove from us the torment. Indeed, we are believers. And they said and cried, O oh Allah, O oh our Lord, Lord, you just remove from us this chastisement. We come to believe. We shall believe. How will there be for them a reminder at that time? And there had come to them a clear messenger. Where from can they have this admonition and reminding? Although a clear messenger had come to them, he was reciting unto them the revelations of their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They never came to believe. Now will they believe? ثُمَّ تَوَلَّوْا عَنْهُ وَقَالُوا مُعَلَّمٌ مَجْنُونٌ Then they turned away from him and said, He was taught and is a madman. ثُمَّ تَوَلَّوْا عَنْهُ Then but they just turned away from him. وَقَالُوا مُعَلَّمٌ مَجْنُونٌ And they said, Oh, he is a taught one. Somebody has taught him. He is getting dictation from somebody. Or he is a possessed one, Majnoon. Or he has gone, gone crazy. 
إنا كاشف العذاب قليلا إنكم عائدون Indeed, we will remove the torment for a little. Indeed, you disbelievers will return to disbelief. إنا كاشف العذاب قليلا إنكم عائدون Okay, we are going to remove this chastisement for a while. But we know that you will surely revert to your disbelief. The day we will strike with the greatest assault. Indeed, we will take retribution. But when we shall seize them with the big seizure, عذاب الأدنى وعذاب الأكبر. We read in Surah Al-Sajdah. ولا نذيقنه من العذاب الأدنى دون العذاب الأكبر. Now when we shall يوم نبتش في البرصة الكبرى, the bigger seizure, greater seizure will come. إنا منتقمون. Then we shall take the revenge. ولقد فتنا قبلهم قوم فرعون وجاءهم رسول كريم. And we had already tried before them the people of Pharaoh, and there came to them a noble messenger. And in the same way, we had tried before them the people of Fir'aun, وَجَاهُمْ رَسُولُ الْكَرِيمُ And to them, a very respectable Rasul, messenger had come. Saying, Render to me the servants of Allah. Indeed, I am to you a trustworthy messenger. And he has said to Fir'aun, Now deliver to me the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inni lakum rasulun ameen. Surely I am for you a trustworthy messenger. And saying, Be not haughty with Allah. Indeed, I have come to you with clear authority. And don't exalt yourselves against Allah. Don't revolt against Allah. I have come to you with a clear authority. And indeed, I have sought refuge in my Lord and your Lord, lest you stone me. And I take refuge with my Lord and your Lord, lest you should stone me to death. But if you do not believe me, then leave me alone. But if you don't believe in me, then let me alone. Go away. Don't touch me with any evil design. And finally, he called to his Lord that these were a criminal people. Then he prayed to his Lord. These people are guilty people. They are culprits. They are not going to, to uh, believe in us. Allah said, Then set out with my servants by night. Indeed, you are to be pursued. Now the revelation was sent to him. You go forth with my people during the night. Surely you will be followed. And leave the sea in stillness. Indeed, they are an army to be drowned. 
and when you have crossed the sea or the river, whatever it was, or the lake, one of the salt lakes, then leave it as calm and divided as it is. When you know Hazrat Musa struck the, the sea with his staff, it divided into two. Kullu firqin ka tawdil azim. And every side became just as a, a rock. But now Allah said, leave it as it is. So that when Firon and his force and armies come, they'll be drowned. Batrukul bahra rahwa innahum jundu mukrabukrakun. Now these hosts are going to be drowned. How much they left behind of gardens and springs. How many they, they left behind them, their gardens and their springs. And crops and noble sites. Bazaroin and their sown fields for Makamin Kareem and their very beautiful dwellings. And comfort wherein they were amused. Banamatin and the delights Kanu Fiha Fakahin in which they used to, to rejoice. Thus, and we caused to inherit it another people. Kazalik, it was like that. And this all we made, we, in, we made other nation to inherit. They were drowned, now the next generation or some, or whosoever was there, they inherited them. فَمَا بَكَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ السَّمَاءُ وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَا كَانُوا مُنْظَرِينَ And the heaven and earth wept not for them, nor were they reprieved. فَمَا بَكَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ السَّمَاءُ وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَا كَانُوا مُنْظَرِينَ So now on their fate, neither the heaven wept nor the earth, and nor they were given any respite. And we certainly saved the children of Israel from the humiliating torment. And we delivered Bani Israel, children of Israel, from the humiliating chastisement. From Pharaoh, indeed he was a haughty one among the transgressors. Min Firaun, from Firaun, innahu kana aliya min al-Musrifin. Verily, he was from the prodigals, and surely he had become very much arrogant. And we certainly chose them by knowledge over all the worlds. And we chose them, the, the Bani Israel, the children of Israel, on the basis of our knowledge. We chose them above all the worlds. Now please note, Twice in Surah Baqarah we have this ayah. Exactly. Ya Bani Israel, askuru ne'mati allati alamtu alaykum, wa anni faddaltukum ala alameen. O children of Israel, remember my blessings over you, and I raise you higher than all the nations of the world. These are Bani Israel. Here again we find, wa laqad akhtarna hum, we have chosen them, ala ilmin, on the basis of our knowledge, Allah Alameen, above all the nations of the world. This nation has been, at least, believing in one God. Has been throughout history, except a very small period when a section of these people, they declared Hazrat Uzair alayhi salam to be son of God. But though not all of Bani Israel, some of them. And for a very small period. Otherwise, Tawheed is with them. They never left Tawheed. 
They stuck to Tawhid throughout history. This is something. And this is the nation only who has the recorded history of 5,000 years. No other nation in the world has that history. People don't know where from we had come. You ask somebody, he doesn't know even the name of his grandfather. I ask, you know, people in Pakistan, where from your brother, your father's, uh, your uh, parents, you know, migrated to Pakistan. They said, somewhere in India, we don't know. They don't know where they belonged and where the forefathers had come there from. No. But this is a nation. It has a written, recorded history. And that history is by and large confirmed by Quran. Quran refers to that history. The, all these, you know, the prophets of the Old Testament who, who are caught, we, we accept that they were the prophets, no doubt. Except for Hud and Saleh. They are not mentioned. Because they were not in the line of Ibrahim. It was a separate batch of the brotony of Sam. And they were very far off from them. In Southern Arabian Peninsula and Qom Aad. So they are not mentioned in, uh, in Torah, in the Old Testament. But all the others are mentioned. وَلَقَدْ اِخْتَرَنَاهُمْ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عَلَىٰ الْعَالَمِينَ I have said so, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having given this status to a nation, then He gave them the punishment first. ذُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الزِّلَّةُ وَالْمَسْكَنَةُ We heaped upon them the zillah, the humility, and maskana. Why? فَبَعُوا بِغَلَبِ مِنَ اللَّهِ And they got the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? An ummah which has the book of Allah, which is the custodian of the law of Allah, becomes the representative of Allah on earth. And now if by its action it misrepresents Allah, it's bigger criminal than the kuffar. This is a very bitter truth. I wanted to bring it home to you. Why are we being humiliated? Why? The same law. We are the custodians of the book of Allah. We are the custodians of divine Sharia. We say we are the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But where is Deen? The Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in one of his Ahadis, Yushik wa yati ala nas zamanun, la yabqa min al-Islam illa smuhu, wa la yabqa min al-Quran illa rasmuhu. I fear a time will come when there will not remain nothing from Islam except its name. And there will remain nothing of Quran except the script. Rasmuhu, Rasmul Khat. That's we are very much in that time. And that is why we are being persecuted. We are being punished. It's divine punishment. Coming at the hands of the enemies, but not without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَآتَيْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الْآيَاتِ مَا فِيهِ بَلَاءٌ مُّبِينٌ And we gave them of signs that in which there was a clear trial. وَآتَيْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الْآيَاتِ مَا فِيهِ بَلَاءٌ مُّبِينٌ And we gave them of signs in which there was a clear trial and examination for them. إِنَّ هَؤُلَاءِ لَيَقُولُونَ Indeed, these disbelievers are saying, Surely these people are saying, There is not but our first death, and we will not be resurrected. This is only one death of ours, which will come to us, and then we shall not be raised again. Denying this resurrection and the hereafter. Then bring back our forefathers if you should be truthful. If you are true, then bring back our forefathers if they can be resurrected, if they can bring forth 
our forefathers before us, then we shall believe that yes, we will also be resurrected. هم خير أم قوم تبع والذين من قبلهم أهلكناهم إنهم كانوا مجرمين. Are they better or the people of Tuba and those before them? We destroyed them, for indeed they were criminals. أهم خير أم قوم تبع؟ Are they better? Or the people of Tubba. Tubba, you know, they were the kings of Saba in Yemen. Just as, you know, the title of the kings of Egypt was Fir'aun. Title of the kings in, in Chaldea or Iraq was Namrud, Nimrod. The title of the kings of Yemen was Tubba. Walladzinam in Qablihim and those who were before them. Ahlaknahum. We destroyed them. In Nahum Kanu Mujrameen. Verily, they were guilty. This nation was in power in Yemen from the year 150 BC, before Christ, to the year 300 AD. For 450 years, they were the rulers in Yemen. وَمَا خَلَقْنَا السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا لَاعِبِينَ and we did not create the heavens and earth and that between them in play. And we have not created the heavens and the earth and what is in between them playing. We did not create them except in truth. But most of them do not know. We have not created them, but with a certain purpose. But most of them know not. Indeed, the day of judgment is the appointed time for them all. Definitely the day of decision, the day of of judgment is the appointed time for all of them. The day when no relation will avail a relation at all, nor will they be helped. When the day when no friend will be of any avail to, do, to, to his friend, and they will not be helped. Except those believers on whom Allah has mercy. Indeed, He is the exalted in might, the merciful. Except the one whom Allah shows His mercy. إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ Verily, He is all-powerful and He is the merciful. إِنَّ شَجَرَةَ الزَّقُّومُ Indeed, the tree of Zakum. إِنَّ شَجَرَةَ الزَّقُومُ Verily, the tree of Zakum. آمُ الْأَثِيمُ Is food for the sinful. آمُ الْأَثِيمُ it will be the food of the sinful sinners in the hell. Like murky oil, it boils within bellies. And it will boil like molten brass in their bellies. Like the boiling of scalding water. Just as the boiling water seeps. It will be commanded, seize him and drag him into the midst of the hellfire. And then it will be said, seize him, and then drag him into the midst, in the middle of the hellfire. 
ثم صبوا فوق رأسه من عذاب الحميم. Then pour over his head from the torment of scalding water. ثم صبوا فوق رأسه من عذاب الحميم. Then you pour upon his head the chastisement of boiling water. ذق إنك أنت العزيز الكريم. It will be said, taste. Indeed, you are the honored, the noble. Zuk, taste it. Inna ka anta al-Azizul Karim. Actually, he you were powerful. You held power. You were a king. You were Pharaoh. You were Tumba. You were Nimrod. Now taste. You are the all-powerful and respectful and noble. إِنَّ هَذَا مَا كُنْتُمْ بِهِ تَمْتَرُونَ Indeed, this is what you used to dispute. إِنَّ هَذَا مَا كُنْتُمْ بِهِ تَمْتَرُونَ Now this is what you were doubting about. إِنَّ الْمُتَّقِينَ فِي مَقَامٍ أَمِينَ Indeed, the righteous will be in a secure place. إِنَّ الْمُتَّقِينَ فِي مَقَامٍ أَمِينَ Whereas the people who had fear of Allah in their hearts, they will be in a very peaceful place. فِي جَنَّاتٍ وَعُيُونَ Within gardens and springs. فِي جَنَّاتٍ وَعُيُونَ In gardens and springs. يَلْبَسُونَ مِنْ سُنْدُسٍ وَإِسْتَبْرَقٍ Wearing garments of fine silk and brocade facing each other. Yalbasuna min sundusin wa istabraqin mutaqabilin. Dressed in silk and brocade facing one another. Kathalika wa zawwajnahum bihurin ayin. Thus, and we will marry them to fair women with large beautiful eyes. Kazalik, thus it shall be. Wazawajinahum be hurin in, and we shall espouse them to wide-eyed huris. Ad'oona fiha bi kulli faakihatin aminin. They will call therein for every kind of fruit, safe and secure. Yad'oona fiha bi kulli faakihatin aminin. They will be ordering there all the fruits without any fear. There will not be. There will be no fear that will be said. This fruit is not available. No, no. Whatever you call, it will be brought before you. لا يذوقون فيها الموت إلا الموتة الأولى ووقاهم عذاب الجحيم. They will not taste death therein except the first death, and he will have protected them from the punishment of hellfire. لا يذوقون فيها الموت إلا الموت الأولى. Now they are not going to taste another death except the death through which they have already come. وَبَقَاهُ مَعَذَابَ الْجَهِيمِ And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has saved them, will save them from the chastisement of the hellfire. فَبُلَمْ مِنْ رَبِّكَ ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمِ as bounty from your Lord. That is what is the great attainment. Fazlam min Rabbik. And it will be a bounty from your Lord. Zalika huwa al-fadul azim. And verily, this will be the mighty triumph, the real success. فَإِنَّمَا يَسَّرْنَاهُ بِلِسَانِكَ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ And indeed, we have eased the Qur'an in your tongue that they might be reminded. فَإِنَّمَا يَسَّرْنَاهُ بِلِسَانِكَ O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam So we have made this Qur'an very easy in your language, in your tongue. لَا لَهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ So that they might be admonished. They might be reminded of the basic realities of this universe. فَارْتَقِبْ إِنَّهُمْ مُرْتَقِبُونَ
So watch, O Muhammad. Indeed, they are watching for your end. Fartaqib, innahum martaqabun. So wait, O Prophet, for the end. Allah's, Allah's command. Surely, they too are waiting.